Fun fact, if you steal the mug, you're a dick. Hey guys, welcome to the Elite Daily Show. I'm Rose O'Shea. I'm Carl Hess. And today we are talking about alcohol. Of course. Okay, so we read on Elite Daily that your summertime cocktail mm -hmm. says a lot about your personality. So let's talk about something a little bit more serious. First dates, what your drink order says about you. What better time to judge someone than on a first date? So let's role play the a little bit. The waiter's here. He's here. Okay. I will have mm, a Chardonnay. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. Just and then a of light course, white I'm wine. thinking the divorce isn't final, but she's out looking for a good time. Ouch. What and then I order? turn to the man and I say, uh, may I have an ice cold beer and a shot of tequila, please? Whoa. Ooh. So <laughs> then thank I'm you. like, great, he has a drinking problem. It's under control. Uh-huh. Um, how about I let you order and then I say something like, oh, I'll be like, I'll have an old fashioned. And I'm like, I'll have the same. Oh, you're just piggybacking right on there. Power move. Is that cool? Cheers. I'm impressed. It's tough for me because I don't like an old fashioned. But now you have to drink it. And I just have a drink I have don't like. Have a sip, have a sip. Ooh, dates are fun. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Settling. That's what dating's all about. Ah. What about if I'm just like, I'll have a club soda with lime? Oh, God. Right? Basic. First simple. of all, I'm like, you lied on your Tinder profile because you're not out looking for a good time. Excuse me? Um, second of all, I'm thinking, how do I get out of this date? Maybe fake a phone call, you leave 15 minutes in. fake a phone call? Well, we're not going to have any fun. You're drinking water okay, with bubbles in it. if I pull out a flask and under the table, I'm mm. adding and making my own little cocktail. Then not only are you up for a good time, you're also a cheap date. Right? And I like that. Economical. Cheers. That's it, my friend. I remember going on a date that's amazing. Yes. And you invite them back to your place, and yeah. as you open up your door, you just panic because you realize that you don't have any alcohol in your nope, house. You don't nothing. have beer, you don't have wine, you have maybe like coffee. But and you like might have like a lemon. little leftover tequila from a house party. What do you do? Well, luckily, we have a lead barman, Garrett, who works at Evely. Hi, He's Garrett. an expert. Garrett, you're going to help us. Please, please help us. Garrett, you have please. To help us. Gabby, you're kind enough to bring a selection of stuff from your place. Yes, this is all from my apartment. This is your house? This is my house. Let's okay. Assess, that's let's the only assess thing the situation. We don't even know if we're in luck yet. Jam, eggs, pickles, I like pickles. Two kinds of mustards, banana, liquor cabinet, that's really sad. Bitters is something apparently removed. Rum, gin, and uh, tequila. You guys know what picklebacks are, right? Yes, I oh. love those shots. This is going to be a gin martini. Um, it's basically going to be a glorified pickleback. I love pickles. pickles. I, I really, really do. do. Too. I'm not pregnant. Sometimes pregnant women eat pack pickles. Well, if you were pregnant, I would say that probably you shouldn't have this drink. This, no, probably not. So it's going to be uh, three ounces of gin. Mm -hmm. A splash of pickle juice. Ooh. Plenty of gin, Garrett. I love the color, too. All right, so we're going to do a spritz of citrus, mm -hmm. just to okay. give it more of an olfactory quality. Love it. Okay. So we just love drop, it. drop a little pickle in. Okay. Here we go, my dears. Ooh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, gin <gasps> what do you think? Because you don't normally I like don't gin. I like gin. I think gin tastes like Christmas. This tastes like pickle Christmas. Ooh, I and I do like gin, mm -hmm. so I will be finishing this. So let's see, I noticed earlier that we had some strawberry jam. Okay, yes. that's insane. We're not gonna use not, jam in a drink. Well, it gets worse, we also have some eggs. We're making breakfast. This is breakfast. Well, right. hopefully it will be. All right, Ooh, if it goes good. well. Okay. Uh, so, so we're going to use rum, lime juice, uh, eggs, and strawberry jam. So the first thing you wanna do, you want to crack the egg white? Oh, yeah. Crack I've never been able to do this. Separate well. the egg white. Two ounces of rum. Nice. I only like rum in pina coladas. Ooh, the only thing Not I like that less much. than pina coladas is getting caught in the rain. Right? Strawberry jam. Mm -hmm. Love it. Love it. Okay, so what are you doing here with your so hands? So you're squeezing the juice of one whole lime, Ooh. and you're actually using your fingers as kind of a sieve. So your you hands are clean, I hope. Oh. Now, if you can do this at your house at four in the morning, then you are sealing you are, the deal. That's you know, impressive. That's your marriage material. You look, or you look like an alcoholic. Yes, or that. And how many calories are we talking here, Gary? Yeah. Because I, we're talking negative numbers for calories. Yeah. You know, no, yeah, calories. Less, less than no calories. It's literally the nicest thing you've After ever said to me. After 2 a.m., calories don't exist. Does it taste like pancakes? Does it taste like it waffles? It tastes, um, it's very sweet, but not sweet like you're nauseous. Like, it's actually just mm -hmm. really refreshing. And the egg whites on the top is just really clean, clean tasting. Garrett, thank you so much for joining us. Cheers. Here is thank you. Yes. Cheers. And cheers. Mm. Mm. Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah, more drinking. Mm. 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 We're gonna drink our feelings now. Mm.
time to close it out, and I think the best way to do that when booze is concerned is with a good toast. Oh, yes. a toast. I yes, love yes, a toast. Yes, yes. In Ireland, they say slancha. Slancha. Mm, slancha. Oh, I like yeah. that. Okay, so in Japan, they say kampai. Ooh. Ooh kampai. 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 I'm Italian, and they say chin chin. Oh, ah, yes. Chin chin. Yeah. Oh, chin chin. Oh, I like there you go. I like that. I like how much we're drinking. Yes, so much <laughs> alcohol. Thanks for joining us in our discussion of booze and booze related topics. Mm -hmm. Join us tomorrow because we'll be here because we live here. We, we do. Live we live yes. on the set. It's yes, very comfortable. We do. It'll be a little hungover, but yes. it's fine. It'll be fine. Great. Mm.